the whole idea with story and my idea was I was really big on identity. I wanted to to create a restaurant that felt very personal to me, um, that was all based upon experience for our guests, not only in food, but in the way we were the way we would encapsulate them with telling a story um, from the service, from the style of service, to the thought processes that go behind why we cook what we cook. Um, you know, but simply here, we're a restaurant that, that prides ourselves on giving the best experience we can possibly give to our diners, lunch and dinner. I've had to become more open to, to different things that, that keep the restaurant running and, and looking at different ways to improve, not just the food, but the whole company and the restaurant. And how do we stay one step ahead of others or how do we think we're going to stay one step ahead of, of others and what can we give to people that other restaurant, other restaurants can't. Um, but I think my food, generally, I, I think we've always had the same philosophy, and I think that's something that I'm really proud of. You know, we take ingredients, we treat them with utmost respect, um, we stay very seasonal, and we, you know, we don't. I don't think we ever really overthink things at Story. You know, I think in anything that's come out of Story, the the kind of signatures that have stayed, whether it be the Storio or the, the candle or the almond and dill, these kind of dishes that have been on forever, all happened very naturally. I, nothing was ever, I didn't wake up one day and say, I'm going to make a dish of this and it will look like this. You know, everything was just kind of natural. Our food progresses at a pace that I like, but we don't, I don't feel pressured to, to look to change. Change isn't always the correct process. So I think that it's important that especially young chefs they understand that just changing something for the sake of it I think isn't necessarily the best way to approach food. Yeah equipment and kitchens are obviously kind of the foundation of any restaurant. Um, it's the engine room. They work 20 hours a day um, and when I came here I made a very clear decision that when I opened Story that we would look to work with the best of the best and that's how I came to working with Rationale. I think that for me as an, as an oven, nobody comes close um, for many reasons. I think firstly the efficiency, um, the precision you can get with cooking with Rationale um, and just the way it's designed. Um, it, it is actually a very complex machine. It can do so many things. Here we don't we don't take it to that extent. We probably don't use the full uh, potential that it has. But what we use it for, nobody can nobody can compete with with Rationale. The way that you can you can steam and that you can roast and that the the precision on the cooking is, is second to none. Um, how it self cleans, you know everything is there for you to see, it tells you step by step if there's ever a problem, they're easy to maintain. Um, and for, for us here, we started with one rationale and it was the first piece of equipment we said we need to get another one. Um, I think that I have an amazing group of people around me and my credit should go to my team here, not, my, not myself. Um, and without them, I couldn't do anything. Um, you know. The first, the first line on our on our list is to preserve restaurant story. That's the first, it's the the first thing we we always think about whenever we make a decision. I, I think for me to open another restaurant story would be close to insane, um, and something that I'm not looking to do. Um, but obviously, doing other things, whether it be a pub in the country or a casual restaurant. Of course, like I said, there's always risks. But I think if you have a strong group of people around you that can support you. And also, you know, part of this is, you know, I have people that have been with me since day one. They want, they want versatility. They want to be able to maybe stay within the company, but move and grow. I can't do that just in this one room. It's very difficult to grow all this talent in one small room. Um, so it's about giving them the opportunities that they deserve as well. Um, 
But me, I just very much go if I see something and I want to do it, and my gut says it's the right thing to do. You know, nine times out of ten, we'll follow that.